Hey everybody out there, it's Brianna and I'm here bringing you my top five favorite natural products for the summer. Um, the reason I say natural is because a lot of the products I use on my skin or in my hair or to cleanse my body are natural. Um, I have really oily and sensitive skin so my, pro my face doesn't like a lot of things on it so I have to be very careful and I thought it'd be cool for anybody else who has the same type of skin as me or people who are just looking to get in some more natural products um, some that I've tried and liked and currently use every day <laughs> um, here we go so the first product I want to talk about here is Thayer's alcohol free toner with rose petals and witch hazel it also has aloe vera in it. It's literally exactly what it says in the bottle is what you're putting on your face. Um, this stuff is amazing. If you wear a lot of makeup, I don't really wear it that much makeup, but enough to wear sometimes if I wipe this, I still see like foundation on the cotton ball. So it just kind of gets all that extra stuff off so you don't go lay down on your pillow and get more dirt on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I highly recommend this for, for any skin type, but my skin is very sensitive and oily, so this has just been working wonders on it, because a lot of products, um, I know they don't work when the next morning I wake up or if I put on makeup, like, my skin just is overly producing oils, because I used to use, like, those little oil blot sheets all the time, but ever since I switched over to a lot of clean skincare products, I have not had to purchase oil blots or acne zit remover because my skin just started acting great because I wasn't confusing it with all kinds of complicated um, products so uh, once again I highly recommend this it's Thayer's alcohol free toner or rose petal witch hazel whatever this is the thing I find it at Sprouts normally and I think you can order it on Amazon too it's like $10 and it takes forever to get through the bottle The next thing I wanted to talk about is African Black Soap. I think I use, um, it's like Nubian Heritage or something like that. It's at, uh, I think it's at Target and it's at Sprouts. Two of the happiest places on earth. I really like their products. They're very clean and they smell incredible. And literally, if you look at the box, you can pronounce every single ingredient on it. Like coconut oil and aloe and whatever else they put in, in Black Soap. I'm not really sure what it is. But um, it's nothing but plants and seeds and oils and it smells so good. But one of the things that they point out on the box is not only like can you wash your body with it, but it says it's um it's a blemish controlling soap. So you can wash your face with it. I if I'm in a rush to get my makeup off, like if I'm not at home or something, I don't know. Somewhere where I'm just not really feeling like taking off my makeup, this I'll wash my face with this. But also in the shower, I'll wash my body and then I wash my face and everything with this incredible soap. I'm telling you right now, you will smell so good. Um, another favorite of mine is the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is called... Indian healing clay. This stuff is crazy. I don't know if you can <laughs> I don't know if you can freaking see all that powder that just flew out but um This is basically a clay that forms from weathered volcanic ash and water I guess so it has this crazy like electric charge that it's opposite of your face. So let me make that make sense. I don't remember if it's negative or positive, but let's just say this has a negative charge and your face has a positive charge going on. So when you put this on your face, the negative charge attracts the positive charge. And the positive charge, when I say that, I mean like basically all the impurities have this positive charge and they get attracted to the negative charge and they stick together. And when you take the mask off, all that crap comes out of your face and it feels super soft and super nice. Granted, you have to do it every day for two weeks, I think. Yeah, every day for two weeks, and then after that you can go down to once a week or once a month or whatever you wanna do, but for the first two weeks that you use it, you're supposed to do it every day. And um, 
I will say you might notice like a couple of extra bumps. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear that, but you might get a couple of extra bumps the first or second, maybe third day, but it definitely clears up and it's definitely worth it. I love this stuff. Whenever my skin starts acting a fool, I just go back to it and I use it. Um, I mix it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and aloe vera. You can get the like exact instructions on here. <laughs> the mask like turns hard as a rock. So you sit in there like, and you like can't even talk or laugh or anything. I hate doing this with my roommate because we sit there and laugh and it hurts. But um, your face starts pulsating because you can feel it like pulling everything out. It's crazy and it's amazing and you should totally get it. Your face will love you. So moving kind of out of the skincare and into your body wear. And that wasn't as cute as that that was gonna be. But, um, okay, so I'm really into like detoxification and like juicing and anything to get the gunk out. I, I'm all for it. So, um, I had ordered these teas, like teas, herbal teas, that detoxify you and help you like de bloat in your stomach. And I will say they de bloat you, but, um, you bloat back up <laughs> right when you stop drinking the tea. And they're expensive. So, triple leaf tea, it's a traditional herbal support tea and it helps promote cleansing and detoxification it's ancient chinese medicinals i don't know what that means but it's ancient and it's chinese and it's medicinal so it's gonna help detoxify you and i will say like it keeps you regular like you're not it's not the type of detoxification where you're running to the bathroom every five minutes you can totally drink this every day and you'll be fine there's been a lot of sickness going on my, my roommate's sick my boyfriend's sick everybody's sick i'm not trying to be sick so <laughs> i'm like if someone touches me i'm like oh i'm gonna detoxify but um five dollars at sprouts i'm sure whole foods has it and i'm sure amazon has it so my fifth and final product for today that I'm obsessed with, it's kind of old and I'm sure the whole world knows about this, but if you don't, you're welcome. This mint julep lip scrub, I'm so obsessed with, like, I love any type of sugar scrub that you can either rub on your face or rub on your lips, especially your lips, because I get a lot of dead skin on my lips and I'll either like brush it off with a toothbrush or I'll create my own like brown sugar scrub with like coconut oil and vanilla extract. Um, but if I don't feel like making the scrub, I can get this from Lush. It smells, oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like the best gum you ever had, I guess. But it's just sugar and you just, um, you just like tap it and you rub it all over your lips. And it's so good. It's even edible. I don't think there's anything in here that will kill you. <laughs> um, no, but it's totally edible. It's made out of sugar, cold pressed organic caster sugar jojoba oil i don't know if you can eat jojoba oil but i've totally looked this stuff off my lips and it tastes incredible i think you'll live you're fine um i recommend this your lips will be so kissably soft i have an obsession with ordering things and trying a bunch of things that i don't need to try and telling all my friends about it so i figured why not to start telling you guys <laughs> as well so you can benefit from my trials and errors so um that's all i got for you